it's awful hot out here. Up here in my mouth. Get it locked in. Alright. Man, I don't even have a rag. It's in my crate behind me. I'll have to dock over there somewhere and get a rag. It's sweating in my eyes, burning. Oh, God. Well, I'm back out here. I'm on Mountain Island this time. I was at the top of the river. And they were going to have that big concert. I didn't want to be there. Uh, a bunch of people coming across that bridge from Charlotte. I know what happened. The last couple rap concerts they had around <coughs> Charlotte. I always get shot. Which I wasn't going to be at the concert, but I was still going to be trying to put my boat in and out down there. I want a part of it. We're going to paddle around through here. My grandbaby just texted me as soon as I got my kayak in the water. As soon as I got it unloaded and got in the water. Grandbaby Tex wanted to come hang out with me today. Now I feel bad about being out here. I could, I can't load that kayak up again. I, nah. Oh God, I, just, I can't do it. I'd have to go all the way back to home. Um, I'm not but 30 minutes away, but I've done loaded this thing up. I unloaded it twice today. So I'm not doing it again. I'll pick him up when I leave from here in a couple hours. I'll fish for a couple hours. I'll pick him up and he can go home with me. We'll find something else to do. He don't live but 10 minutes from here. They could bring him down here, but I don't, he don't have a life jacket at home. His life jacket's at my house. And I didn't bring it with me because there's no use to bring it when he's not with me. So anyway. I've seen a little fish jump over there. They were jumping this morning when I first got in, but I was headed headed up river. <coughs> this is the upper lake where I was at. I was at the river. This is uh this is the upper lake that uh, runs into the river. Um, Man-made lake, uh, Mountain Island, which. Uh, in here yet I can't see us that's, that's the thing when I put my phone down here it's about three foot from me and I can't see the chat I can run my mouth but I can't see no chat I can't see what anybody's writing they say this place used to be full of uh, Bigfoot um up until the late 80s, they started, um, they quit seeing them as much. All the development up here. But when I was a kid, they were up here. And they may still be. You know, you got people say, oh, you can't run them off. Well, you can too. Too much development, they'll leave. They're, they're not. I mean, you know, if it's not a good environment for them to raise their family, they're smart enough to leave. But, uh, yeah, you can't run them off your property if you, you know, if they don't want to leave, but they don't like progress no more than I do. So you can make them leave if you start building enough of buildings and houses and, and stuff. Start putting these houses all around, around the lake, they'll leave. And that's exactly what they did. I see a fish jump out here. Fell over there fishing. <clears throat> I'm gonna throw out here where I saw that fish. I need 
spun around now. Oh, there's one jumped right in front of me. I need to get up over in that cove. Where well, I need to be. I caught a nice one out here um, two weeks ago. I couldn't get my hand around him. He's a nice. Well, I see a mayfly out there on the water. Something's going to eat him. Mayfly out there swimming around. Find a boat. Something will jump up and get him in a minute. Oh, there's a June bug. That's not a June bug, that's a bee. Oh, that'd be good. No, it is a June bug. Something will get him. I'll pick him up and put him on my hook. <laughs> uh. Oh, that breeze feels good. Anybody here yet? I, don't know, I can't see. One? I can't tell. Yeah. It's not like being in the woods. You got a glare out here. When you get on the phone, you can't see anything. Wind spinning me around. I can't hear you. I, I was talking to my phone. Oh. I was making a video. <laughs> I thought you were telling me to get out of the way. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, you're not my way. I was. I said the wind spinning me around. Oh, it I was, is. Yeah, it spun me all the way around. I was, I was fishing that way, and then I was reeling it behind me because <laughs> it spun me around. So are they biting today? I just got here about 20 minutes ago. I've seen a few jumping, but. Usually when they're doing that, they're feeding. I've seen a lot of insects on top of the water, though. Yes, ma'am. Out there walking on water in front of me. See him walking on water? Look at him, he's walking on water. <laughs> the water's down today. I went to a boat ramp earlier and, uh, over, on the river, and uh, I know the water's down like two foot, looked like <clears throat> on the river. See that kid out there looks like he's walking on water? Those rocks are right there on the top of the water. Uh, the water's right there at the top. That's cool, it looks like he's out there walking on that water. That's pretty cool looking. <laughs> It's usually just down, it's, uh, it's way down. Well, no, that one's not down that far, really. Actually, it's not down that far here. It's not. Maybe a foot. Oh, that, where he's at, that water's like a foot above the rock where he's standing. Usually you, you roll right over top of them and you're with your kayak and 
just barely make it over top of them. Now you cut and you'd hit them. Then we'll get up here around the main channel and throw a cup around the edge. I kind of wish I'd have put in over at Buzzard Rock, a place called Buzzard Rock, but I had to. I'm by myself. I can't carry that kayak by myself. Uh, I used to could pick it up over my head. I can't do that anymore. I might not have had my heart, heart trouble and everything else. It looks like you're walking on water from back there. Water's down. Those are usually up under the up under the water. Yeah. But I swear, back there it looks like you're walking on water. <laughs> Pretty cool. Older than that one. <coughs> yeah, that's a newer one. Hey. Here come some waves. me now. Can't turn me over. Some people are. Oh, I got some people in here on the chat. I see the chat rolling, but I can't see who it is or what you're saying. I'm sorry. I've got a glare so bad. I can see the uh, words, but I can't read them. Um, I'm like, up here at Mountain Island. I'm going to do a little fishing a couple hours. What I was saying is these, uh, you can tell these guys come by on these boats and they real fast and making big waves and they look and they, they look and see if they flip make gonna flip you. But uh, to their amazement, I don't flip because I got these uh, outriggers and uh, I don't care how big the waves are, they won't flip me out here. Well, that breeze feels good. Got some clouds. Okay, let's see. What's up, Mike? Yeehaw! Hey, I see you. I see you. I got a I got a cloud come over. And I can see some of the some of I, I see Long Island. Thanks, brother. Yes, yeah, nice out here, man. Look, it is. Uh, excuse me, it's. It's still in the 70s. It's not even 80 yet. And I got a breeze out here. And, uh, man, it's nice. I have been out here long. I, I had to load up where I was on the Stone Cassava River. And I went back and forgot my glasses, and they was going to have some kind of concert. They're setting up stage. And, I didn't want to stay down there. So I come up here. The lake, I like the lake better than the river anyway. I don't see nothing jumping now. They were jumping this morning. But yeah, this place used to be, uh, they say the old timers will tell you Bigfoot stop them things was all over the place around here in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And they started building all these houses and they people don't see them anymore. 
So, I mean, I don't know. I've seen some leftover structures up here from, uh, look like they were very real old, you know. Uh, this is a plantation, um, thousands of acres. Uh, it was an old plantation and it's a historical landmark now, but um, it's called a lot of plantation. And uh, just a, a, it was a plantation back in the day uh, farmland and stuff and uh, that would have been a perfect place for him but now it's just a historical landmark and uh, they got trails and canoe launches and kayak launches and, and stuff like that out here now fishing and uh, stuff like that but it was an old plantation they grew tobacco cotton corn, beans, all kinds of everything. Whatever plantation grows, mostly cotton, I think it was here in tobacco. Cotton and tobacco. Yeah, I'll cast a couple. I got my trusty broke back mana. This isn't my favorite spot, but this is like my second favorite spot, but my favorite spot, I have to carry my, I like to go when I, my son goes with me. And he can help me carry my kayak and stuff because I have to carry it down a hill. And uh, it's a little rough on the old man because it's rocks. I have to carry it down the rock. But once you get in, I like it better over there. I got it's a nice cove. It's a, I don't know what the cove's called. I call it Turtle Cove. It's a slap full of turtles and uh, bass. And bass up there eating them baby turtles. Look at them guys over there in front of me. Uh, what do you call them big long uh, thing? I hear them talking. Uh, rowing, rowing team. A uh, six man team on that boat. I think you can see it from here. See that far? I have my glasses on. Oh, is that two boats? What is that? I don't know. What, that's one of them big boats, ain't it? Yeah, that's one of them big boats. <coughs> I don't know who it is. Uh, it's a college team or something. I don't, I don't know who that is. I'll race them. I'll sit over and race with them. Can't read it. I'm probably a, uh, a school team. Huh. Awesome. Well, the I could go into that. I'd like to get a trolling motor on this thing so where I can just uh, cruise along and fish. And you can put them on here, but you have to go get license and everything. And it ain't but like 35 bucks. It's not much, but you still got to go to the hassle of putting numbers on your boat and going to the DMV or wildlife, wherever you go get the, your uh, numbers. But it kind of takes away from the, the joy of paddling and getting that exercise. Is what I need exercise. Uh, I don't need the 
That's the body workout as much as I do the walking. Though. I need to walk more. Like I did last year. I walked every day last year. Fish just jumped in front of me there a minute ago. Oh, there's another one. Let's throw out there and see if we can entice him. See if we can entice that fish. That gum canoe, my kayak turned turn sideways on me. There we go. This place is not, uh, Mountain Island is not known for big bass. There's small bass. Go. Oh, Rose, do Rose. Yeah, that's a rowing team. Rigger on there too. Listen to them. They're communicating there to get going to get it together. I'm getting up and out running. blow by them guys. I'm gonna kick in I'm gonna kick in another uh, gear here. I'm gonna blow by them. I don't think I got a motor on this thing. <laughs> oh, they're hauling ass. I couldn't catch them guys. If I had a trolling motor, I wouldn't go that fast. <laughs> That's fun. Let's see if I can get them. I don't know who they were. They were. They were. I thought they were young men. They were. They wasn't. I thought it may have been a one of the college teams or something or school team but they were letting they were grown mass men and uh, i think i've seen a girl with them so i don't know what that was all about who they were with I've spent my whole life on this lake. On the weekends. I ain't gonna go much 
further than them rocks up there. I was going to spend most of the day out here, but now my grandbaby wants to come spend the day with me. I wish they'd have called me earlier, uh, 20 minutes earlier, and I could have uh, turned around and went back home and got his life jacket and brought him out here with me. Dragon habit. But I had him uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I forget now how many days I had him. This, all this land on the, on the right side of me since I ever since I put in and started paddling is a uh, part of the plantation so you see you guess about how big that plantation was a couple thousand five thousand acres maybe ten thousand acres five thousand maybe I don't know not only it's a ponderosa is what it was Oh, they're coming back again. Okay, I'm gonna cast a little bit. I'm sorry I can't talk to you. I can't read the, uh, I can't read the chat. I just kind of, almost, I feel like I'm being rude, but I can't see it unless I, take the phone out of the this uh, rod holder and then I, I can't set it down I can't paddle or fish I went and got me a rod holder yesterday and mounted it and I uh, took my selfie stick and put a uh, cut me down a pool noodle small and put around my selfie stick and then put some tape around that to where my uh, selfie stick would fit in my fishing rod holder that I got mounted to the boat. And uh, that's what my phone's mounted on now, sitting in a fishing rod holder. Because the way I was doing it, it was falling over. And uh, I was scared it was gonna get wet my phone or somehow I'm gonna fall out of the kayak, but now it's, it's on there now, see? It ain't going nowhere, it stays with the boat. So I can figure out a different way to get it up here right in front of me where I can see it and I get me an umbrella to put a uh, hook clamp it to my seat and make the little uh, umbrellas you, you, you clamp it to your seat and then I could have some shade over me and I could read my, my messages but you can't read them with that glare out here and I got a cl uh, some clouds coming over, but it's still, uh, for some reason, still got a little glare on it. Well, I'll take my glasses off. I can see them. I can see, uh, I can see Mike. I ain't really trying to been doing a lot of fishing just casting or nothing I need to go up in a cove where I can catch my bass I caught one a couple weeks ago I couldn't get my hand around him and uh, I had I left my phone my my son come with me and I um, he was fishing on the bank and I took off in the kayak fishing and uh I said, man, I hate to leave you on the bank. You can keep my phone and listen to uh, some music. And I'll take the kayak and go fishing. 
so I didn't have my phone to take a picture of it. I got back. He said, oh, yes, yeah, sure. Sure, I'm sure you did catch a big old fish. <laughs> he, he knew I wasn't lying, but I couldn't prove it. But I, I couldn't get my hand around him. Feels good. Here a little bit. This is where I filmed that crane about a month ago. A big old crane up in that tree. May have a nest up there, or I did have. Thank you. I like to get in them. I wish it was early. So I try to get out here early in the morning so y'all can see me catch a big old bass. When it starts getting uh, warm after 10 o'clock, they just don't, they don't hit. I like to see all these bass fishermen early in the morning out there on the way to the lakes and rivers. I ain't going much further in this rock.
Hug back drives them crazy. You pop it a little bit. Pop it and reel it. Keep reeling it and popping it. It's like they're trying to run away from the prey. Drives them crazy. I caught a striper on this thing. Three foot long. I forget what he weighed. Forget what that thing weighed. Good job. Oh. <laughs> Try it again. There we go. Oh, my I ain't seen nothing jumping. Black water will keep rolling on back. The black water will keep on rolling. Mississippi moon, won't you keep on shining on me? My granddaughter's coming over for breakfast. This, well, she comes late for breakfast, like 10 o'clock. So it's really not breakfast, but it is. But This is the first time I've not cooked her breakfast when she comes over. I usually stay there and cook her. But I already had plans to go out this morning before she called. But I almost changed my mind. So I could see her. I ain't seen her in two weeks. Kind of wish I would have. That way I'd have been uh, able to go get Elijah. He could see Kylie, him and Kylie. I had them both up there at the house. I'm going to turn around and go head back that way. Work my way back that way anyhow. Drag set. <laughs> my drag was loose. If I'd have caught a fish, he'd have took off running with my with my line. No well. Okay. Yeah, I found some structures up here though. Uh, about a month ago, I found some structures. Um, let's see, where were they? I think they were. They weren't far from here. Um, where I didn't find any structures I found. I think if you go up straight where the camera's pointed up there in that. Uh, around to the right where the uh, channel narrows out and you go around to the right is where I found them that's where they some structures were and they had a bunch of trails in these woods and, uh, and I guarantee you they some in there there's got to be they picked these old timer set used to be full of them, and uh, people don't they, you don't see them like you used to. That don't mean there's not a few in here. Um, you got a few thousand acres. Uh, the whole time we've been out here on the right hand side, you see no houses. There is no houses because of that plantation. And then you got Duke Energy on the other. Half of it. 
this uh, the way the uh, the way the current is right here. It goes in different directions out here because um, it dead ends to the left and straight. This is one giant like area of the lake, and uh, if you go out. to the uh, straight from where your camera's pointed and go up there where it narrows off. Keep going up through there, you'll sit hit the main river. Because this is man-made lake and uh, I know how the river runs, the old, uh, the old uh, ancient river runs through Catawba River. And, uh, But the way that current comes through here, it comes different directions. So I could sit out here and go, it would push me to the right and get out there and the next thing you know, it's pushing me to the left because it's such a big area. I'm gonna show you what I did. I'm gonna take it loose. Take my phone loose. Oh man. Uh this grabbed it tight. But anyway, I was gonna show you my my rod holder contraption I made. I think I'll make I may uh make a video about my kayak. All the cool stuff I've done to it. My anchor trolley, my milk crate, my outriggers, and my phone holder. Customized. <coughs> Poor man's chopper. I got my choppers customized. Poor man's These uh, 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 boards are popular now. Everybody's got a board, one of them flat boards. I started to buy one that was uh, already uh, customized for fishing. It had a seat on it, rod holders, and uh, some other things on it. It was pretty cool. Somebody turned it into a fishing vessel like this. I couldn't get the mother kayaks. I couldn't. I can't get in out of them. If one of them was to flip over, I can't. I couldn't get back in them. I'm. I'm too old and got COPD. That little young lady right there had all the guys stumbling around out there. At the, it's a launching pad out there. She, Got a string, uh, G string on, and uh, got all the guys tripping and thump, stumbling and giggling and goo goo eyed and everything. Nice look at, but I wouldn't take her home to my mama. <laughs> oh man, I need, I need to get my boat fixed. I've got a '76, a 1976 Starcraft, but it, it's uh, this one's sitting there rotting in it in the house. I don't. It's a 21 foot aluminum. Beho, got 85 horsepower Johnson on it, but the motor it won't crank, and uh, they are so expensive to work on, and I, I I don't know nothing about them, and you better have a 
big checkbook and go take them and get worked on. Especially an old motor like that. That's parts are hard to get. And but it was pretty fast. But probably going to junk it because it's been sitting there so long now. It's been sitting up for eight years. It's had a lot of fun in that boat. And I'm glad we got this overcast. A lot of people out here walking the trails today. A lot of kayaks and stuff. Out here too, flat boards. I had so many jet skis and boats today. a little bit stop by and pick up Elijah go home and play with him today we had him for almost four days and uh got me and my wife 64 years old and we we played with him for for three days man he went home we were sore and tired he likes to wrestle with Paw Paw and my goodness. I've got to go. I have been, I've been neglecting my Bigfoot hunts. I've got to go do that. Um, I want to go up to Lake James and take my kayak up there and go out there at night. I've been saying that because they've been spotted from the boat. People are spotting them all the time, but they're not spotting them from vehicles and, and stuff. They're spotting them from the boats because that old mountain lake up there. Um, that's where they're spotting them from. I want to go up there and do a, a Bigfoot hunt from the kayak with no fishing or nothing. Just go out here with my spotlight and roll around the bank you know, and spotlight the bank up in the woods and see what I can see. And I need to get back to your worry, but that place is not good to go by yourself. It really not. Other people went missing in that place. And that's 56,000 acres. And they're not real, they're, they're kind of aggressive in there, uh, I guess because they don't see very many people. And, I mean, I don't know. But the uh, researchers that go in there, they tell everybody, don't go in there by yourself because they are aggressive. Um, and there's been several people missing went in there. I don't know the details, but I think found a couple of them dead and found I don't know, but uh, I need a partner to go into Yuari. Me and my wife, I'll take her with me in the daytime, but I don't want her out there at night. And, uh, I don't want to take her very deep in the woods in the daytime uh, in, in, in the Yuari, in a place like that. It's common sense. It's like the Yosemite National Forest. You don't want to go in there by yourself. For, I mean, people do it every day, but... You know, them's the ones that don't come out. But I don't know. I'm trying not to be paranoid, but I just don't want to go into you worry too much too far by myself up them trails. <coughs> I have, I walked some trails during the day, but a mile or so up in there. But I don't go up in there and leave the trails. 
by myself. Here comes a big old wave. I might get wet. Whoa, Nelly. Nah. Didn't get me. Wasn't enough of them. Woohoo. Ride them, cowboy. I want to be a cowboy, baby. I want to be a cowboy, baby. I can't see my chat. I know I'm rude. I'm being rude, but I can't see it. Uh, I know Mike uh, was in there, or still is. Yeah, I can see some. Uh, hey, uh, somebody said, hey, I can't see. If I take my phone uh, out of my holder, then I can't paddle. And I'm losing up under my boat. I'm backwards. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. I'm getting sideways too. Like that. I'm gonna do a video of my uh, kayak accessories. I'm pretty proud of my phone holder I come up with yesterday. Sitting there in the garage messing with it. Whoa, what in the world? Spun around on me. Oh, no wonder. Uh oh. <sighs> Dang it. My tape got wet. I got it. Uh, some gorilla tape. And my little selfie stick. And it got wet and it come loose made it spin around but uh anyway i'm gonna get out in the awari and do me some big foot hunting i ain't found no prints i got i'm gonna find me some prints some good castable prints i've seen some prints in it in there um so a little over a month ago, uh, beginning of June or whatever it was, and uh, they were faint. I could tell what they was, but I couldn't get a cast on them. Camera wouldn't hardly pick them up. But that's what I want to do. I've been neglecting it. I can walk a little bit more than I could back in, uh, a month ago too. Now that I I got uh, took all them uh, prednisone and antibiotics, I didn't realize I was so sick. I couldn't breathe. My, my lungs were full of infection, and my sinuses were too. But I got that cleared up so I can walk a little bit more. I mean, I still got COPD, but I, I'm not as, uh, out of, I don't get as out of breath as I did. It got pretty bad. Got pretty bad there.
Yeah, those flat boys are popular. Very popular around here. Yeah, I'm, I, I assume they are everywhere else too. But everybody's got one around here. Let's see what shot that. I don't believe I'm gonna catch nothing out here today. I hadn't got up in a in a good spot, a good cove. That's where I like to fish up in the coves. And uh, caught my biggest fish up in these coves. Big girl over there, she's gonna fold that one in half. Damn, she, she'll fold that one in half. There's another one of those boats, but it's, it's a blue one. Right in front of me. Must be some kind of club they got out here. further up the lake I need to take you other guys to Lake Norman and look at those mansions up there where all the football and basketball players and race car drivers up there uh, live um, Dale Earnhardt and all them big race car drivers live up there in them mansions and uh, Michael Jordan lives up there and well he's got a house up there and uh <coughs> where all the millionaires live. Billionaires, whatever they are up there. Some of them billionaires, but... Oh, man, that's a nice one there. It wasn't far from me either. Wow. I've seen that rascal. He was making some waves. Oh, I'd like to hook him. He was a big one. He didn't even jump. He was just swimming. I've seen them. It may have been a big old gar or something. Big alligator gar. We got him in here. Some of them's huge. And, uh, they swim on they swim at the top of the water, but they won't bite no lure. I don't know. They're picky. They they got some, they got they like to eat fruit and stuff or dead stuff, I guess. I don't know. We could look and fish in alligator gar. lady over there she's about got that um i'm not making fun of her but she's about got that board folded in half she got her old man on the back of it with her it's, it's almost not even showing out of the water bless her heart she's about to sink it but she's out there she's enjoying herself that's the main thing though that right she's out there having fun much fun as i am so that's what counts That's what counts. Get out there and enjoy life. And the hell with what people think. As long as you're not hurting other people, hell with them.
doctor still won't give me nothing for to quit help me quit smoking yet. I went there, he said, let's see, let's take care of one thing at a time. And he gave me the antibiotics. He told me I was about one day away from the hospital. He said, that's a dangerous place to be. You do not want to be in a hospital. And uh, we're going to take care of this and get you bad, bad. Then we'll talk about smoking. So I went back Wednesday for my follow-up. And then he was, my lungs sounded clear, you know, and uh, my sinuses and everything. And. He uh, done that follow-up and it took five vials of blood from my physical. And uh, I asked him again about smoke. He said, no, we're going to do this here. We're going to take care of you, get your physical over with and everything. He said, uh, you won't smoke if you're serious about it. He said, in the meantime, just don't smoke. And uh, so... I guess I go back Thursday for my physical, and then he'll give me something for smoking or whatever he's going to do. Some patches, I think. Or that Chantex. Whatever. They, if you want to quit smoking, you don't need nothing. That's what they say, but last time I tried, I get stomach cramps from it not smoking and uh all i wanted to do was eat i could not get my i couldn't get satisfied i just i mean i, I couldn't get satisfied and i was eating and eating and eating and eating and eating and i just oh i remember i couldn't get satisfied but it's hard to describe but i, I couldn't like I, I couldn't satisfy my hunger so i need something <coughs> I mean, I started smoking when I was 16, I'm 64, so I've been smoking 48 years. Almost 50 years I've been smoking. So yeah, there's gonna be some physical stuff with it, I'm sure. It wasn't too bad when I was in the hospital when I had my heart attack, cause they slapped some patches on me. And uh, I didn't want them too bad. That's the first time I ever went without cigarettes. I was in there with a, uh, for a week with my heart, my, my heart attack. And, uh, but I didn't really, I, I wanted a cigarette, but I didn't crave it real bad. Or I got up, went out and smoked me one somewhere. That's how hard-headed I am, but I, I, I didn't. I went five days without one. I've never done that before. Haven't done it since either. Man, I wish I could hook me one today. I kind of hadn't been too serious about it though. See my chat, dang gum it. <clears throat> well, the next live I do, I'm gonna be on a trail. Um, for sure. The next uh, next time I go live. I'm gonna be on a Bigfoot hunt in the trail. I was gonna come out here and just hit the banks with my kayak and leave my fishing pole at home and uh, just look for structures, but I brought my fishing pole and uh, I haven't looked for any structures, but they're out there. This, this fishing pole I got, uh, it's got some old stretch that line, it stretches. It's not a real good line, and it's, uh, 
actually the guy that was we got mixed up is one of my brother's extra poles. I went out with him on his pontoon boat. Me and my son, we grabbed our poles and uh, my son grabbed this one and was one of them and left uh, mine on the boat, my brother's boat. So I got to get up with him and switch and get my pole back. This is his, one of his extra poles. So when we go, we go with him, we was catfishing. We had, uh, well, he had three poles and my son had three poles and I had two of them. Catfishing. I like the bass fish. Cat, I, we we uh, we used to do that. We used to go catfishing at night. Out here, we'd sit out here all night. That's back where you could drink on the boats. We'd get out, get out here and drink all night and catfish. Had a lot of fun on this lake. A lot of fun out here. Up on the upper part, I, not I mean uh, the same lake, but the upper part. It's like a different world. This is closer to the house. Actually, I could walk to this lake from my house in 30 minutes. I'm only like three miles, three, four miles, probably take me 30 minutes to walk a young healthy man can walk it in 20 minutes but uh or whatever but uh that's on the other end Drain my guts out trying to put this thing in the car. Last time, uh, earlier today, when I went to the river and it changed my mind, <clears throat> I left my sunglasses. I went back to get my sunglasses and he told me he was having that rap concert. And I said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get the hell out of here before they start that, that stuff. All them people from Charlotte coming across that bridge. So I live in Gaston County. Uh, and they was having that concert down at the boat ramp, and it's right on the North Carolina, I mean the uh, Gaston County, Mecklenburg County line. And all them crazy people from Charlotte coming over for a rap concert. I hope not, but there'll probably be a shooting out there tonight. And uh, I didn't want to be out there putting my kayak in and get shot. Somebody got shot in North Carolina up on Albemarle, which is uh, not far from New York, where I go. On a lake in, uh, in Albemarle, North Carolina. Uh, it's 50 miles away from me, I'd say. And uh, a lady and her 12 year old son was out there in a, in a kayak or canoe, and somebody somebody shot her in the leg. And they was out there in the, on the lake. Uh, just a random somebody, some evil person shot her. Shot her in the leg, and uh, they don't know why or whatever. And, some witnesses said they seen a, right after they heard the shot, there was a guy <coughs> run through the woods and jumped on a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, an ATV, <coughs> like a four-wheeler, and hauled ass down the trail. And that's all that information they had. Because she don't even, she didn't even know where it come from. Just out there with your, your kid padding around like I am now and, and get shot world's got some evil in it man evil stuff but it hit her in the leg and she was she don't have no she didn't have no enemies she just did she don't know what happened who shot her or what she said it didn't hurt that bad must have been a 22 or something because uh she just went and uh, they dug it out of her leg and bandaged her up and she walked on out of the hospital on crutches with a tetanus shot or something but uh it wasn't high powered i don't think couldn't have been i'd say it was probably a 22 rifle <coughs>
but it makes you think people are so mean. Oh, that's them fold-up kayaks. They're, uh, what do you call them things, the Chinese, uh, or that fold up with the paper, the paper things you do with the Chinese, the little ducks and stuff, or it starts with an O, origami. Origami, those kayaks fold up and put them in a suitcase. They're expensive as hell, but they're, they're pretty cool. But yeah, it folds up and snaps together with uh, like Velcro bands or something. I think they're like seven, eight hundred dollars for one of them things. Pretty cool. You fold it up and it's uh, put it in the front of your car. <laughs> awesome. I looked at one that was on the marketplace that somebody was going to sell. But I decided I just wanted to do that. I stick mine in the back of my SUV and let let um, let it hang halfway out and I, I just leave the tailgate up and open the glass and slide it in there. And uh, that's how I haul mine. Or either I use my son's truck when he's not using. I wish I could see my chat. I wish I could talk to you guys. I could lean up here and, and read it, I guess. I put my hand over it. I need a, I need me an umbrella. If I had an umbrella, I could, uh, I could have shade over it. I could read it. I could communicate, talk to you guys. Um, this thing's like three foot away from me. My phone is. And I don't have real good eyesight. But, uh, I apologize for that, but. I need to figure out some other way to mount this thing where I can pull it right in front of my face where I can read it and like it be in front of my face and get the same view that you've got now. That's what I need to do. Yeah, let me turn this thing around. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I'll, I'll get me another mount and I'll mount it to the side. Uh, Some kind of way to get me an arm, get some kind of arm with a hinge on it, and I can swing it in front of me and work it that way. I can't, I ain't had a bite. Sun was directly beating on me. I would be, I'd be already sitting in some shade somewhere or something. You would think you'd see more fish feeding because of the mayflies laying off around the water. They're not everywhere, but I see quite a few mayflies on on top of the water, kicking and splashing around. Good fish food. All right, I'm gonna head back and go uh, get my grandbaby. Take him to the house and 
get his bicycle and take him to the pump track. He loves to go to the pump track and uh, give him something to do. He must be bored today, but he likes to come hang out with Papa. I'm fun. I do I do stuff with him. I try to keep him busy. So I guess I'm gonna go load this thing up. Stop and pick him up and then take him somewhere. I apologize for not being able to communicate very much with you guys. Whoever's in there now. I'm, I'm glad you joined me. And I've enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Watching me paddle around out here, run my mouth. And uh, not catch no fish. But uh, even if you don't catch nothing, fishing's fun. When I go home, my wife will ask me, did you have fun? I always say, well, I went fishing, didn't I? Yeah, but did you catch anything? No, I didn't catch nothing. But I still had fun. But I'm going to get off here. I'm going to close out and uh, put my phone back in my phone case in my dry storage where I can do some splashing here and not worry about my phone getting messed up. I appreciate everybody being here. Thank you for your comments. And let me see if I can get this off here without tearing it up. I broke the last one. Oh, there it went. Okay. Hey, Sandy, I see you. Thank you, Sandy. I run my mouth a lot. Hey, Josh. What's up, buddy? See, I, I put my phone up here, and I, and I can read it now. And I'm getting ready to go home, but I can't see out here with this glare. And my this thing right here is where I had it hooked up. I made this last night. I went and bought me a rod holder and mounted it. And I got my little selfie stick here that I that I uh, put a pool noodle around. Well, now I can't get it out with one hand. But anyway, it's a little selfie stick, and I cut me a pool noodle and put it on there and taped it so it fit my rod holder tight. So my phone and I can stick it out there, and it's way away in front of me. I was in front of me, but I can't see my my screen very well and I need to mount it look see where it's at and where I'm sitting it gets way out there but uh I need to mount it somewhere like on the side on this rail here and have me an arm come up here in front of me where I can read it but that way it won't be in my way fishing either or paddling but I needed me a rod holder in the center and I thought well that'd be that'd be great and this is what I put my phone in dry storage I got my wallet and my uh, keys in there and uh, of course my crate in the, my milk crate in the back I'm gonna do a live video about uh, about my kayak and show you guys my my trolley system for my anchor how I trolley my anchor from the front to the back or depends on how I'm going to fish and uh, show y'all my milk crate I made for storage and uh, show y'all a few things I, my outriggers and stuff how I made those but I'm going to get off here and go get my grandbaby and spend the rest of the day with him and thanks again guys y'all have a wonderful Sunday and uh, take care.